Good morning. morning. Grace and peace to you in in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to First Presbyterian Church this Advent Sunday, third Sunday in Advent. It's a joy and a delight to have you here. The session is called for a congregational meeting at this time. If we can begin with a word of prayer. Lord, guide us in the deliberations that are given to us as we seek to be your people in this time and this place. In Christ's name and the power of your Holy Spirit, amen. At this time, I would ask that Delane Nelson, where is Delane? There she is. (laughs) Okay, Delane will serve as our clerk of, of this congregational meeting, unless there are any objections. Hearing none, let us proceed forward. The agenda is for the is placing forward the nominating committee's names for those to serve for the class elders for the class of 2025. Uh, that will be Marty Boone for the clerk of session, Kay Callahan for membership, and Missy Reynolds for congregational care. Are there any other nominations from the floor? Hearing none, may I have a, a motion to, that nominations be ended? And a second? Do I have a second? Second. Let us proceed forward. All in favor of those names put forward, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. So moved. Congratulations, Missy, Kay, and Marty. <laughs> uh, they're all in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Missy, that's right, Missy, not in the choir. Okay. Let us end with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you for the work of your church, this church. In Christ's name we pray. We ask that you will guide Missy and Marty and Kay as they seek to serve this congregation and you with heart and mind and spirit. Amen.
Today we light the candle of love, which joins the flames of hope and peace. There is no greater power than love. Love is stronger than rulers and empires. Love is stronger than grief and despair. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. This Advent we remember that love was born into the world as a baby wrapped in bands of cloth. We celebrate that love comes to us now and forever. And, and we, we love, love because, because God, God first loved us. You may be seated, and I invite the little ones and young at heart who aren't so little to come and join me, if you will. We're going to stand right here by the Christmas tree, and I know why it's maybe going to make his way down if he if he wants. Here he comes. Catherine, do you have a Christmas tree up at your house? Do. You do. I know the answer. Up my house. Yep. There's a Christmas tree up at your house. Wyatt, Christmas tree at your house. Are there, are there ornaments on it? I have the ornaments, mostly myself and my dad. 
Well, I bet it looks fantastic if you did it, Catherine. And we have decorations. And how about you? Decoration. Yep. And, and we have decorations. How about you guys? We have Christmas tree ornaments on our tree that are about you. Yeah, that have pictures of their new ornaments. Um, and there's pictures of um, p parents when they were kids. There's some old ornaments on our tree that, that like... There's pictures of you. Are there, are there old ornaments that maybe your dad made or your mom made when they were kids? Yeah. So you have that too, maybe some old ones that you made when you were a little child? Yeah, when I was nine months, I had my first Christmas. Wow. So did your brother. So I love how our Christmas trees kind of tell a story of our families, don't they? They tell of the past. Maybe they tell the present because they have new ornaments on them. Well, we have a special service today. It's Lessons and Carols. And what we do is we tell the story of our faith. It's an old story that tells of long past from the, from the, from the beginning of the story of our faith up until... I know you want to pour water. We're going to talk about these ornaments in a second. Up until the birth of Jesus. That's what our service is all about today. And I love it because it gives us the whole, it's not just about Christmas. It's about the whole story of our faith, the service that we have of songs and readings. And I thought about that as I was thinking about this tree because this tree has ornaments just like our trees at home. These ornaments, we don't have any pictures of people, but we have, we have a story with all these different ornaments. What do you see? What are some of the, the ornaments that you see? A crown. You know why it's a crown? Because angels. For the king. Jesus is the king. He wasn't born as a, a person who ruled on a throne. He was born a baby, but we call him a king. And there's a cross we know that he died on a cross. There's these other symbols that represent God and the, the, the a star like that shined on, on Christmas night. God and the Holy Spirit. There's shepherds. Crook. In other words, this tree tells the story of our church family, just like our Christmas trees tell the story of our own families. And what we hear today is the story of our faith and song and words. And it is such a special day, and I'm glad y'all are here. And you can listen from the other room, or you can listen from here. You're welcome. How about us have a prayer? And then our first lesson is going to be read by Miss Missy. Let's pray. And if you all will join me, we thank you, Jesus, for loving us and sharing the story of love with us by being born in Bethlehem and reigning in God's holy kingdom for us. Amen. All right. You can sit down or you can go back with them, whichever works for you. Creation. God utters the creative word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God hovered over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lesson two, covenant. God promises relationship with all creation. Genesis 9, 12 through 16. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lesson three, choice. Mary participates in God's words, in God's wondrous act. Luke chapter one, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. 
the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Lesson number four, birth, the holy family takes shelter. Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census would be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. 
and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Again, welcome to this time and place of worship. It is a joy, a delight to have you present here this morning for this Lessons and Carol service of worship. We have friendship pads in your pew if you'd be willing to, to f- fill those out that we might get to know you better. Please note the announcements in the bulletin. Note that next Sunday we will celebrate Jennifer's service here at this church as our church administrator and hope that you will join in the celebration and also the luncheon afterwards. Please note the other items in the, in the bulletin. Note too the names that are on our prayer list. They are so important to us. And I want to say a particular warm thank you to Lydia For Brian and Linda and Angie and the choir and our guest singers. And Mike, thank you for your wonderful music this morning. It is very delightful. We are very blessed, aren't we, folks? We certainly are. In this season of music, in this season of Christmas, we truly are blessed with the good news of our Lord and Savior. Let us join Now, in this time of prayer, gracious God, we are gathered here this morning, and we are hearing lovely music in praise of you, 
and the wonder of Jesus Christ who was born among us, you born among us. And Lord, we are thankful. We are grateful people. We are deeply thankful for the opportunity to have heard and respond to your good news in Jesus Christ. To be people of sharing and caring. To be people who seek to reach out to those who are less fortunate. To be a light set on a hill. To be compassionate people. To help the orphan, the widows, the immigrants. People in our own community who are hungry and cold in this December month. We are warmed by the music, but above all, we are warmed, our hearts are moved by Your love and grace proclaimed in Jesus Christ in the power of Your Spirit. Lord, let us respond to the birth of Jesus into the world and into us and among us that we might move forward in this life to be Your presence. And so, Lord, we ask that You will be with those on our prayer list. Give them healing. Give them wholeness. When they are in the darkness of the valley, may they know that You have not abandoned them, but help them to know that You lift them up. Thank You for doctors, nurses, and hospitals, all health cares. As we seek in this season of December to be people who are whole in body and in spirit. So hear us now in a time of quiet meditation that we may offer up to You what we have brought with us this morning. Our worries and troubles, it is true, but also our heartfelt gratitude and thanks and our vision to move forward, to be followers of Jesus Christ, hear us now in this time of quiet meditation. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray not merely for ourselves, for we live in this world. Though we are set on, on this hill's top, many miles away from the clamor and the struggles and the troubles of this world, we are still affected by them. We pray for your shalom, your peace in Ukraine and Russia. For your shalom, your peace. Somalia and Kenya. For your shalom and your peace in Israel and Palestine. For your shalom and your peace in Bangladesh. For your peace, your shalom in Peru. And your shalom and your peace in our own country here. Lord, we pray that the hungry will be fed, wars will cease, the poor will have good gifts brought to them. Lord, we pray for Your Word and Spirit to move again across the face of this earth. In Christ's name, the One who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us come and worship the Lord at this time with our tithes and our offerings.
Lesson five, good news, the child is born. John chapter one, verses nine through 18. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him, but to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of the blood of the will or of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And he and the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart and who has made him known. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
Lesson six, announcement. The angels appeared to the shepherds. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly angels appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven. And on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who is lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I hope you will spend the week to come meditating on what we have heard and how we have worshipped this day, hearing the fullness of the story of our faith. And I hope as you do, you will remember that God created you to be a part of this story. And so as you look at our tree or your tree and you think on your faith and your family and your life and the life of this world that God has given us, know that you are a holy and sacred part of it. And your role in this world is very important. As you go, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. Amen. Amen.